You are fake news. Fake news. What do you think? This is the Fake News Watch. I'm Kaylee Fagan, and this week we're going to talk about conspiracy. Millions are pouring in, people, of the very worst type. The globalists have overrun us. Do you understand? It's an attack. It's red level. It doesn't matter now. Let me tell you something, you filthy traitors in the government, you pieces of crap. We're going to get your asses, and we know what you're up to, and we're coming for you. Conspiracy theories are nothing new in this country. In fact, you've probably heard a million different versions of what really happened to Area 51. But in recent years, conspiracies have found their way off of the dark side of YouTube and shady blog sites and into the public eye, thanks largely to popular online personalities like Alex Jones of InfoWars. Jones's radio show is a dangerously popular fake news source. It garners nearly 2 million listeners every week, and we know at least one very powerful, very prominent person that regularly tunes in. And your reputation's amazing. I will not let you down. You will be very, very uh, impressed, I hope. And I think we'll be speaking a lot. For those of us who haven't heard of Alex Jones, he's a libertarian radio host from Texas. And if you can think of a conspiracy theory, he believes in it. You can, uh, you can Google chemtrails from space. It shows the, the NASA photos. It's changing our atmosphere, and they are adding chemicals to the jet fuel at the industrial level. Go ahead. What? I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. What the f***? Uh, I guess Pope Francis would be the greatest incarnation of Satan I could ever imagine. Christianity's bad. <sighs> Nationalism's bad. Christian. Okay, okay, okay. He's he's most recently famous for his claim that the Sandy Hook school massacre was staged with child actors. And last week, he actually lied about being the leader of the Illuminati. You could say I'm one of the leaders of the Illuminati worldwide. And you could probably argue I'm the leader of the Illuminati. Now, obviously, this guy tells way too many lies to even fact check on this show, but this specifically is a lie. And how do I know that? Because, well, I joined the Illuminati's emailing list, which was shockingly easy to do, by the way, got in contact with the official Illuminati media contact, and she confirmed that he is, in fact, full of shit by saying, quote, Alex Jones has been propagating false information about the Illuminati for over a decade. Unquote. And to add to that, I would love to mention that Jones has been propagating false information about almost everything for over a decade. But seriously, though, conspiracies are one of the oldest forms of fake news out there, and they affect people of every political party, age, gender, race, and class. The vast majority of conspiracy theories can be debunked with simple scientific research or a mere Google search, but that doesn't prevent them from being really dangerous. Especially when the president, you know, the person with the highest security clearance in the whole country, believes in them. According to experts like Joseph M. Parent and Joseph Yusinski, who literally wrote the textbook on American conspiracy theories, the most popular conspiracy is that President Kennedy's assassination was carried out and then covered up by the government, which is believed by between 60 and 80 percent of Americans. And then, roughly a third of the country still believes that Obama was not born in the United States and that the 9-11 attacks were an inside job. And let's not forget this guy, Edgar Welch, the man who stormed into a pizza joint in D.C. with an assault rifle because he read online that children were being sold as sex slaves in the basement that the building didn't even have. So there is real reason to worry about conspiracy theories falling upon the wrong ears. This is also a popular topic among psychologists, like author Jan Willem von Pruyen, who found that a passionate belief in conspiracy theories usually correlates with some feeling of losing control in one's own life, which is why the number of conspiracy believers always picks up right after a devastating event like a terror attack or a natural disaster. Or, you know, on a more personal level, like the day after graduating college, or when you accidentally eat an entire box of Thin Mints by yourself in one sitting at two in the morning on a Tuesday. But, you know, all joking aside, Alex Jones is right on at least a couple points. The first is that there is absolutely a war over your mind being waged right now. But the info war is not between the globalist elites and the citizens. It's between the news media and pretty much everybody else. You know, journalists, commentators, bloggers, we're all competing for your attention. And as consumers, we've all kind of taken accuracy for granted when it comes to the news and have just started trusting that anyone with a microphone knows what they're talking about. But your views, your clicks, and even the amount of time that you spend on a web page is an investment in the kind of media you want to see survive the info war. So please remember to support accurate news, report anything that is obviously not news, and as always, seek the truth and share it.